check it out. I got a Flash Forge Dreamer donated to my channel through the Flash Forge USA distributor who sells on Amazon. So I'm going to try this thing out and see how well it works on today's Filament Friday. So I'm excited about this because this shows that my channel is growing and it also allows me to show you guys something beyond the $500 printer which has really been a major part of my focus and still is to some extent. I still love my Fabricator Mini. I still use my DaVinci 1.0s and my Junior now and then. I've kind of got tired of the whole limitations and I don't want to get deep into having to rework and hack a printer just to make it work. I want stuff that works right out of the box. And this printer is one that's gotten really good reviews, uh, comes fully assembled, take it out of the box, is what they claim and print with it and I want to try that out and evaluate that so I'm excited to try this out and there were several printers that I could be using that I didn't because I didn't want to go over that $500 limit and then I realized I'm just limiting myself and what you guys can see so I'll still have the $500 sub $500 printers but I'm gonna start featuring some other printers as well on the channel just to show you what you can get if you can afford a little bit more. And especially if you maybe started with a Fabricator Mini and you're ready to upgrade to something, what's out there and what's, you know, what do I think about it if you want my opinion. So this is a start of something I'm working on. I got some other channel uh, video series I want to do and this will be part of that new series. So you'll see that, you'll see how this unfolds over time. But right now, let's get into setting this thing up and seeing how well it prints. The printer came with this nice plastic case which had tools and some extra parts. And then some minor assembly was required, meaning two screws to hold the hot end extruder assembly in place. And then there was a duct that directed air from the fan to just below the left hot end. That required one screw. The printer came with two rolls of filament, a green PLA that I installed on the left side and a black ABS that I installed on the right. You just guided up the plastic tubes and then down into the hot end where it's marked left and right. The printer has a very responsive touch screen so I pressed on the print icon and then the SD card was inserted and that showed up in the center so I pressed on that. Then I scrolled down and found the traffic cone left PLA right ABS sample print and it started warming up and started printing the first sample. <laughs> final result and it came out pretty good. The heads, the two heads clearly are not on the same center because there's a slight shift from the black to the green and that's just because the two extruder heads don't have an exact same center point. That's really kind of an XYZ adjustment so I'm going to dig into it and see if there's a way to adjust that, hopefully adjust that out. The ABS to PLA does not seem to be a perfect fusion. In fact the top cone here is like rounded under. It looks like they didn't fuse hardly at all. Although they're connected, I printed another one of these and it broke apart pretty easy. So I think printing PLA with PLA or ABS with ABS in two colors is probably the better way to go. Now the bottom of this is ABS and it's really not warped. It's pretty flat. So that's a really, really good sign that the heated bed is working well and that build tack type material that they include also worked really well. Well, and then I wanted to try and compare it to some of my other printers, as you see here. So I printed the Benchy, 3D Benchy. I printed on my Fabricator Mini 1.0, and I did it on 1.5. Ended up printing the same. The Flash Forge Dreamer, my original DaVinci 1.0, and my Maker Front. And here's the four Benchies. I'll let them show you how well they look. the best viewing angle but uh, that was fun. Overall 
clearly the best print in my mind was the Fabricator Mini. The lowest cost printer of all these printed this 3D Benchy the best. Clearly the best. The Da Vinci 1.0, not even close. And this is actually a decent print for a DaVinci 1.0, but the smokestack is just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of melted a little bit. Um, some of the features just aren't there. The words on the back are just not even close to visible. But still not a bad print for the DaVinci 1.0. The Flash Forge, which is twice the price, printed a lot better. And the smokestack is really good. The surface of everything looks really good. This is a really decent print. And somehow the way it prints, you can't really see the layer lines. It's, it's like it's like a stucco on a, on a wall. It's kind of splattered. And it, it's interesting how it looks. So if you like that look, this is clearly a lot better. But some of the detail and the shingles and that aren't as crisp as, say, what I see on the Fabricator Mini. The Maker Front printed almost as good as the Fabricator Mini, but I would still give it to the Fabricator Mini. There's just some crispness to the shingles on top, and the smokestack is definitely better on this than it is on the Mini, the, or on the, the Maker Front. The Maker Front's got these little like rib lines on the smokestack, but the back, the lettering is, I still can't fully read it, but the back is much cleaner on the on the Fabricator Mini. So is this $1,100 printer that much better than a $500 printer? DaVinci 1.0? Yeah. Yeah, I, if I was to choose between these two, and I know it's a lot more money, I would save up and buy this before I'd buy this. Now there is a DaVinci Pro. I haven't been able to use that one, but it's still got the same hot end, so I, I don't hold a lot of faith in that and the price of that thing has gone up a lot so it's less of a difference so this with its dual extruder the fact that it's completely enclosed comes with its own software if you want to use it but works with simplify 3d is open that i can use any filament not cartridges yeah this is a very good printer and i'm happy to have it it's going to be a great addition to my family of 3d printers and i feel really fortunate to have these many choices. So overall, for the summary from the Flash Forge, yes, nice printer, 1100 bucks, definitely worth it. So that's my summary of it. I hope this helps you guys choose a printer a little bit more, and I hope you enjoyed Filament Friday. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe so I can see you come back. I'm across 9,000. I want to hit that 10,000 mark. And then I'm planning a big giveaway, so join us here. And if you want to help, a dollar a month to my Patreon account, somewhere up here there's a link. Click on that, it'll take you right to my Patreon page. A dollar a month goes a long way and really helps a lot. I've got some great contributors there, supporters, and we have some private conversations, and I post a lot of stuff there behind the scenes. So I think you'd enjoy what you get for your buck. So that's all I got for now. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.